Hey guys, it's been a while since I've done a video because I've been really busy, but today I'm off and it's absolutely nothing else I can do because it's pouring down rain, ugly, gloomy, dark day. And of course I'm sitting inside and there's nothing on TV either. So I decided I'd come out to the garage, see if I couldn't figure out something I could do with some scrap wood. And I found this little piece here. And of course it's got stain and stuff on it where I've done other projects on it. So basically what I'm gonna do is my well in law has been wanting me to make her a sign. And I've only done one sign, so I'm gonna attempt to do another but as you can see here I went on my silhouette cameo used the ink pen setting and I got put this in the computer and let it draw it out onto this paper so in a nutshell what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a piece of carbon carbon copy paper and I'm gonna put it up under here and then I'm just gonna take a pencil and I'm gonna draw all this out that way when I remove this piece of paper here the image should be on the board and that'll give me a guideline to what I'm gonna route so I'm gonna go ahead and get it, get the tools out and get all this stuff ready, and hopefully this sign will turn out all right. And if it doesn't, of course you'll never see it because I won't post it. So just stick with me, and I'm gonna go ahead and get everything ready. What I got here is just your standard carbon paper you can get at any Office Max or wherever office store. And I went ahead and laid it down, the carbon paper down, and I got this side taped. And I'm gonna go ahead and tape this side too because when I'm trying to trace this out. I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk it moving at all on me and messing up my lines. So that's pretty much got it there. I may throw throw a little piece here just for extra insurance. But so now I have the carbon paper down. I have my diagram down. So I'm gonna get a pencil and I'm just gonna go ahead and trace all these out. That way I can transfer that image to the board. All right, I'm done tracing it out, finally. Kind of wears your hand down because you uh, have to bear down so hard, which you probably don't, but I did. So we're gonna see how it looks. Let me get this tape off of here. One more piece. All right, now the moment of truth. Remove that. These pieces and actually didn't turn out too shabby. So now I have this on here, and hopefully, when I get the router out, my bit's not too big to where it won't chunk them letters out. So we'll go ahead and get started with that. All right, the bit I'm gonna be using is a little quarter inch, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's just a quarter inch bit and it's still, it's the smallest I've got, and it still may be too big to be able to do these fine letters, but you know, hey, I'm gonna give it a shot, and we're gonna see what it does. And I will do a little bit of a video of me trying to route this, but I'm not gonna bore you to death and do 20 minutes worth of me just sitting here routing this entire thing. So just stick with me, and I'll go ahead and get started.
And so this is what it looks like now. The only place that kind of screwed up, you see the A right here, the center. I got a little bit too close and chunked it out of there. So I might try to take a little piece of wood and glue it back in there. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but we're gonna see. I'll do something about that. But it's I'm too far along to just trash this whole piece just because of this right here. So here's the crosses, the top. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some black spray paint and I'm gonna spray paint the inside of this. And then I'll, after it dries, I'll come back and sand all the excess off to where the inlays will be black where the letters will stand out. Okay, after searching around, I don't have any more black spray paint, so desperate times calls for desperate measures. So what I'm gonna use is I've got this black grill paint that I bought when I repainted that grill right there. So I'm just gonna take that and a little art brush and I'm just gonna take and dribble it down on the inside of all these letters. And then once it dries, then I'll go back and make sure I sand everything and get it, get it looking good. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that. This is what it looks like now. I know it looks a little rough, but when you sand it down, all those lines will get a lot cleaner. That's just where the, the paint had bled out a little bit. All right, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use this as a template so I make sure I get my edges round because I'm just gonna take all four corners off with the bandsaw and just like right here, I'm gonna take the corners off and then I'm gonna come back with a router and just route the edges. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire up the bandsaw and knock them off real quick. All right, so this is where we are now. I got my edges all rounded over like so and it's going to sit in a stand, which I'll show you all the stand in just a minute, but it's going to sit in a stand just like this on a, on a table or something. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this Roman OG, I guess is how you say it, and I'm going to, I'm going to route all the way around the edges just to give it a little bit of a decorative edge. Now I'm gonna put some, I don't know if you see that, early American stain on it. And uh, normally I'd put gloves on, but I don't have any with me right now. So we're just gonna wing it. Give you an idea of what it's gonna look like. But I'm not gonna bore you with sitting here watching it in real time. And this is what it looks like after I got it stained. All the edges. So now I'm gonna sit back and let that dry. And once that dries, I will show you the stand that I got, which is, I can't remember what you call it, but I got it at the Dollar Tree. And then I'll show you what I'm talking about, how it's gonna stand up on its own. All right, this is the stand that I was talking about. You can get them at the Dollar Tree for literally a dollar. So basically, of course, you take this piece off, but you set that down on the table and it will hold, hold the sign just like that. So that's it in a nutshell, that's the finished product. I don't think it turned out too terribly bad, but I, I know it's a lot of people out there that can do better. But like I said, it's my second sign, so I'm still, still learning as I go. But hope the mother-in-law will like it. Well, that's it for that project then i think it like i said before i think it turned out okay being my second time i'm sure if i had the right tools and the right bits or whatever i could do a lot better i could do real good if i had a cnc machine but anyhow if you got any questions shoot me a comment i'll be glad to try to answer them to the best of my ability and like always if you like the video then like and subscribe and thank you for watching y'all have a good day